Hey what's up guys welcome back to another Monster Chain sneak peeks video so today as you guys can see we are back with another sneak peeks and I'm going to be checking out everything that's coming out very soon so apparently there's a new era coming out very soon and on top of that uh, we got some leaks on the monsters their names and stuff like that their events and there's also a youtuber monster named Sam and Kobe that we're going to go ahead and check out in today's video so I hope you guys are excited if you are make sure you drop a like subscribe anyways let's go ahead and get started so ladies and gentlemen everything that I'm going to be reviewing here today in today's video is going to be available on my discord server so go ahead and check it out if you haven't already make sure to join it we have have nearly 7,000 members right now so just go ahead and join it and head over to ML Sneak Peaks there's a link in the description down below for you guys to join so starting off guys we have an arrow shop monster named Lamuna Iwa so I'm guessing this is going to be the um, mythic version of the legendary monster so it looks like of course they're continuing the whole process of like bringing out monsters from the past like legendaries making them into mythics of course so as you guys can see this is going to be the arrow shop monster um, this season or this era it was Nerida so all right uh we have youtuber event so youtuber another youtube sponsor is going to be sam and colby um these guys have like six million subscribers pretty crazy so um yeah i mean they're getting a monster but it's pretty cool so bounty hunt monster looks like we have a free monster which is Callum Callum whatever all right so you guys could say this is the name uh for the exclusive it's going to be called heart piker so that's the exclusive monster that's going to cost you like 100 bucks if you want to get a rank 5 uh for maze it's question mark so we don't know yet tails we don't know yet same with frat but we know what the quest monster is going to be and that's going to be bio worm bot and what i've noticed is that we got one bot monster another bot and another bot um so yeah we have raven bot we have parabot uh that's a team race by the way that's a pvp that's going to be free to monster or free to play monster by the way um then we have season one galactic era uh so yeah this is going to be the galactic era so you guys know this current the current one is blossom era it's coming to an end so say goodbye to it and then welcome galactic era so these guys are going to be powerful than blossom and all the other ones and uh, the legends pass is going to be holter so apparently holter is going to be a mythic um unless that's just the name uh copper beard oh never mind copper beard also another legendary monster they're just remaking it as a mythic 20 bucks if you want to get the 50 pa uh, 50 pass it's going to be shaolin all right wait that sounds familiar I feel like, wait, that sounds very familiar. Anyways, Galactic Blade, no effects yet. All right, so we don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be one of the Galactic Talent. Upcoming Monster, Harp Hiker, and this one. These are going to be the um, Bounty Hunt Monsters that we just saw. Uh, by the way, for those of you guys that were having issues with the cooldowns on Monster Wood, well, apparently they worked on it and it's fixed now. So you can go ahead and continue watching those Maze Coins right now on Monster Wood and get yourself lots of coins. And uh, this change also means that the Tail Token event will be delayed by one day. All right. So reminder of who Camellia is. Wait, what? Let me see. What is this? Upcoming Pride Chapter. Oh, interesting. You need Camellia to play a saga. So Camellia is going to be in the Pride Era saga. We can go ahead and complete that very soon. Uh, new special decoration. Trans flag, rainbow flag. Interesting. So I wonder if this is already in the game. I'm not sure. It says upcoming so i don't know maybe and then it says new special decoration so this might be something new if not i don't know um but let's see what else we got in here sam and kobe's moveset oh this is a youtuber monster let's see if it's actually good or not so this is going to be part of the blossom era by the way just letting you guys know blind and vulnerable to all enemies modded fire damage to all enemies applies that mirrors applies total blind vulnerability to an enemy okay lots of vulnerability with basically dealing damage and nightmares i say all right, I'm gonna have to do my review on it very soon. But what else we got? Who's this? Oh, this is the Holter. This is, I think this is the $20 monster, right? Pretty sure. No, no, no. Is it the 20? I think it's a free one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, apparently he deals heavy metal damage. There's a cooldown there. Nanavirus, I see. There's a burn. So he's an attacker that comes with torches as well. That's, that's what I'm mainly seeing here. All right, interesting. Uh, Rom is season four team event basically. Yeah, I did my analysis on this guy. So if you guys want to go and check it out, uh, just to save you guys some time, um, if you do want to check it out, you can. You're welcome to do so. But if you're not, um, it's basically like uh, that Raris monster, but like let's say like a Nocto version of Raris. All right. Um, season one Galactic Era event checklist. Oh yeah, we already saw this. Like all the monsters and stuff like that. Yeah. All right. What is this? 10 Tekken traits. So this is one of the monsters coming out soon. Savage Caster damage me 50%. Immune to blind abomination. Oh no, abomination, are you kidding me? He's gonna get destroyed. Seven Kobe traits. Area true vision, I like this. Possession and bleed, mm, not the best. 
if this was maybe like celestial or something that would have been good enough um we also have uh the traits for the holter tough immune to control <laughs> are you kidding me only two maybe the rest isn't leaked but if that's all we have and that's all we're gonna have then that sucks really <laughs> um oh my gosh look at this duke this duke guy is gonna be a dodge air oh yeah this is the one that's um it's like that one monster um Grakshak. you guys remember how nice Grakshak was it's literally Grakshak, but like on steroids can you imagine that like if i am on steroids or something can you imagine that <laughs> so it's gonna have area dodge status caster just like Grakshak. there's gonna be an area drown something that Grakshak doesn't have immune to possession stun i know that Grakshak has what i think it also means to sun or is it celestial or something like that hardens so pretty good in terms of traits um, so that's something that you want to pick up and I'm pretty sure this monster also has PER skill while dealing damage so you got to pick it up all right anyways yeah ram designs ram traits Ooh, bounty hunt oh they lead the monster is that the free to play one I'm not sure that could also be the uh, pay to win one but let's take a look at the calendar guys so right now it is Thursday so the maze is still here the breeding event and Marimoto's challenge right and then tomorrow there's going to be the tails Capitalize in ROM breedings, and then Saturday we got Horn Breed Tales, ROM and Top breedings. Uh, there's a Firefly Path with the Valena, the Resurrector, and then Sunday we got Horn Root Tales, and basically everything that carries on um, except the ROM breeding events. All right, it's just gonna be the Tom breeding event, and then or the Top breeding event, and we got uh, next week we got Bouncy Hunt. Interesting. Um, so let's see, choose your path. It's gonna be for all the Resurrector. Oh, both of them are gonna be for all. Interesting. So for those of you guys that are missing it, pick it up. Um, other results that you can get from this breeding event, plant summonation. Oh, you can get plant summonation. Uh, isn't, wasn't this in the tails or something? So now for those of you guys that actually missed out on it, pick it up. Collection purposes. Oh yeah, that is already gone. But yeah, um, lots of things coming out. Look at this. Season 4 Blossom Era event checklist, right? So, so far these things have already came out. The team race, we already got that through. PvP is still going. Uh, this is coming out very soon, guys. And then we already finished with this. This one's ending soon and this one's starting very soon. And also, of course, this is the bounty hunt for this season. So Duke, oh, Duke is going to be the exclusive. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, uh, that kind of sucks for free-to-play players, I've got to say. And the YouTuber event monster is already here. I really feel bad for the pay to win. Or not pay to win, sorry. <laughs> Never feel bad for pay to win. But I'm talking about um, free-to-play players. I really feel bad. Because that monster is so good. Maybe I can do a giveaway or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, water and light attacker with area dodge, status caster, and move positive status skill. See, exactly. This right here. It's literally... What's your name? Um, it's literally Grakshak. But like on steroids. Look, PR just like what Grakshak does with insane light damage instead of massive. Moderate water damage whole enemy. So you even have access to water. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Dodge area to itself, double damage, same what Grakshak does, but damage boost on top. It's like a cherry pie on top. Seriously. Low special damage one enemy days and gives an extra turn. So you even have an extra turn skill. You even have a Thriller for weak shield if you want to use that. I don't think anybody want to use that. But root puzzle says it from all enemies and deals moderate light damage. Dude, literally Grakshak on steroids. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it probably if that can actually fit as the name. So you don't want to miss out on that one. Try to pick it up if you can. Um, it's going to be behind paywall, it looks like, so it kind of sucks. But um, yeah, so there's going to be new books, Abominations, new book, right? As you guys can see, all these monsters are going to be in that book. There's going to be a Cosmo Civilization. This is another book. So you can actually get lots of um, rewards very soon if you guys have these monsters in here, every single one of them. Um, Antigravity Boots. Oh, what is this? When the turn starts, oh, didn't we check this out already? I think it was in the previous, or maybe we didn't. It increases where is speed and also power. Oh, and also stamina. Okay, energy shield. One turn ends if any allies life is below 25% gives that many points of stamina. Finally, finally, we are actually getting some talents that actually regenerate stamina. Like so far, the only thing that's been out is that one bunny talent, right? Um, the hair, I think that's what it's called. And then there's another one, but I need something better. So it looks like we are getting something better. And th th that's basically these two right here. All right, after damage when I skill, if the target's life is below 50%, removes positive status from, from the damage enemies and deals that many points of dark damage. Wow, a PR that also deals damage. Kind of like Spirit of Destiny, but without the block resurrection. All right, airdrop. 
After being damaged by a skill, if the wearer's life is below 50%, heals the wearer. <laughs> Airdrop. I hope Apple doesn't suit him. But yeah, apparently it. after being damaged, you can um, heal yourself. Okay, cool. Stim pack. After being damaged by a skill, if the wearer's stamina is below 50%, gives it oh, finally another one. Cool. John Fatigue. <laughs> Not a huge fan of that monster. He's okay, but not the worst, not the best. This one right here is pretty good, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that one. All right, anyways, guys. So that is going to wrap it up for today's Monster Gens video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's sneak peek. If you guys want to go ahead and check out everything that I reviewed in today's video, make sure to join my Discord server. The link is down below, and head over to ML Sneak Peeks channel, and you can check it out there for yourself. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy, and if you did, drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.